Hello everybody, Chaotic Fear here, and today we are playing Whiskey and Zombies, where you're drinking, you're fighting, and you're looking to stay alive. Whether, I'm sure if you're drunk enough, you might still think you're alive when you're dead. <laughs> Anyways, we're gonna jump right into it. You got your basic settings and stuff. They have a tutorial if you want to play it. This is out right now, so you can get it. I will link it down below in the description along with their Twitter page because social media, I do follow it quite a bit. And you get to see the updates with it. They have a story mode. They have a redneck survival, which is just how long you can survive with what you got kind of thing. Pretty tough mode. Uh, tutorials there. Tutorial confused me a bit. It's very straightforward once you understand it. It took me a bit to understand. I just didn't under it because I there were some things that just confused me, but it does work. Everything is pretty smooth. I played the tutorial like five times to get used to it. <laughs> but, and you can, you can see this. One, two, three, four players. We're only playing with one. It's registering my keyboard and my controller, of course. And we're gonna go with, I think we're gonna use, we got all these characters here. You got four characters. He's slow, very strong. He's a lightweight, quiet and easy going. Loud. He's slow, but very resilient. He is definitely slow. I've used him. Needs alcohol to function, so not much going on until he drinks. Fast and vicious, tiny and a cheap drunk. Makes it easy to get drunk when you don't need so much of it, but it um, can be hard to handle, I find. And then him, pretty much your middle-of-the-road redneck, like they say. Strong, pretty quick, can handle his whiskey, belligerent, and loud. We're going to go with Tammy Lou, though. And you can see all these levels. We did beat this one. This is the one I'm going to play again um, because I'm really struggling on the other ones. Very difficult. You can see it's hard, like very hard, 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 medium, hard. And like, I think this is your first map and it says very hard, which baffles me. I don't know if that means to be real easy or not, but I'm not even going to try it because it says very hard and it's like the hardest map apparently. <laughs> Let's go here. We should be able to redo it, I hope. That way you guys can see it. In the mic clear shit show continued, having just narrowed escaped new roads. Things again went terribly a airy, whatever that word, a wall. For the poor Mick Cleary Kiri series. I don't know how to say that word, man. Should be able to do this. This hole in the ground is just outside of Hopkins. Now on the other side of this here river is all beautiful place. Seems this son of bitch threw a party with our whiskey. Never throw a party. Looks like it was a ranger, so we'll be knee deep in shit kickers. Let's just hope there's some shine left. Whatever you do, don't fall into the court tableau with zombie gators or some such. All I know is this ain't good. Yeah. Now plan simple. Get across this river, find Buford's truck, and then we'll load it up and we get the Get out of there, guys. There we go. They give you a bunch of stuff. Honestly, they actually start you over here, which you, you will see me run to because it will get pretty difficult. Let's just see. You don't want to fall in there. That's where they don't want you to fall. So they try to avoid that. See over here. This is where you start. You can't do anything over here, though. This is where you start, though. And let's keep it going. Wait, what's this? Apparently not that I thought it was something. Something you still miss, you know? Let's get going. Where? Yeah, we got a gun. We only got 27 ammo, but that is okay, actually. I don't really think we need any of this, so I'll just pick up the shovel. I forgot. Okay, see, that's where you struggle when you're not paying attention. You gotta break that door, guys. Let's go around. But yes, the whiskey actually, you know, heals you. 
very good thing in the game. And then you're out of ammo, and then things become a little more difficult. And you can get a rage mode, which is actually really cool. And you can punch them all to death as well, especially when you're in rage mode. There we go. That's what we needed. There we go. And we'll drink some more whiskey. Oh, hello. Damn. I think we Yeah, cornfield. They didn't mention a cornfield. Yeah, get out of there, man. And you can only bring one at a time. I guess this would be a lot easier with a team. You know what? Just because I feel like the video is going to be pretty short. We're going to play the first chapter too. I just, when I seen very hard, I was like, I don't want to even try it. Why would the first chapter be very hard, right? That's like throwing you into the shark tank right there. I feel like that should be like the very easy one and then this one could have been like medium or something. Yeah, don't mind me. I can't actually drive this thing. The controls are a little weird for me. There we go for it only so yeah four minutes it took so yeah see we did beat it This is the first chapter it says very hard and it confuses me like I'm a, maybe they meant very easy We're gonna we're gonna try it. We're gonna try it so We're going backwards here just so you know We'll see what happens Check this out. Now, this is New Roads. Now, this is where we are, and we need to get here. Red Stash. Now, that old bastard's got all the get whiskey that we need. Get whiskey. Get, get, get out. Be anything but a granny slapping good time. The undead shit kickers of this here town are gonna be all around, and they're gonna be hungry for brains. So I tell you not to think so much, but that just be overkill, huh? Ha <laughs> ha! Just remember the McCreary credo. Drink, fight, and stay alive. Now the plan is simple. Get a truck, get whiskey, and then we get the f*** out. Now let's do this. Okay, let's try this. It says very hard. It confuses me for being chapter one, but... But we'll see what happens. We'll pick that up as well. Guess I can't use that. Oh, hello.
Oh, okay. So we're here at Ray's, okay. We got a gun now, that's good. Okay, we're gonna have to try to figure out what we're gonna be doing, which is fine. Oh, you can load the map anytime, that's cool. Mama says always be drunk. Can't go wrong with that, I guess. Machete found. Can I go in here? Doesn't look like you can. That's okay. What area was this? Maybe it still has this truck. Okay, we just gotta go up a little more. This area, you cannot go in. That's fine. Zombies can hear you. Keep drinking, Silver Eagle's dead. That's not doing anything. Oh, fuck it. That didn't do anything either. We're just gonna leave it. Uh, so do we want in here? Yeah, why not? Got alcohol. We can't have more alcohol. I like a backpack foul. Let's go. Oh, we got two guns. Okay. Okay, this, we gotta be able to break the door, right? I guess not. I thought you'd be able to go in there, but it doesn't look like it. Which I guess is fine. I was hoping, you know, help somebody out. Let's go back to my machete. Keep trying to figure out what we gotta do. Abandon all hope. Can't get in there either. Doors are open there. I guess you can't get anywhere. I don't know, man. Yeah, you can't get in there. Maybe it still has this truck. Yeah, but you can't get in there. That's the thing. Ow. Get out. Red always has a good selection of bad and worse. Oh, that's a big guy. Get away from me. So that was the the big guy in here, I suppose. What you'd call it. Okay, so we got alcohol here. So we just have to get We just need the truck. Is this the truck? It is the truck. Okay, so let's pick this up then. Need more fuel. Oh, what happened? I, did, I think I just blew up my, uh, my gas.
Oh, cool. You already have a backpack. I think I the few that was fuel that I could have had. Oh well. <laughs> you already have a backpack. Yeah, I know. Look at those headshots. Oh no! Rip. That is not good. <laughs> For a car repair tool, eh? Yeah, we'll do that for now. We gotta repair that car. What? Now we can repair this car, but we still need ge we still need some fuel and more alcohol. That's the issue I'm having. Hello. So the health is fine. It's not, it's the ammo or the, um, the fuel, which is fine. So we gotta get back in here. Where's the other alcohol? That'll be a question. I guess we're not even through most of this. There's a bunch of that stuff, that's fine. Let's keep it going. So we can go over here. We're just going to keep using our guns. Because that's just how we're going to get through this, you know? We can't get in there. There we go. See, there's all these buildings here. I just don't know if you actually can get in them, you know? Take them out. There we go. Oh, I gotta reload. There we go. Oh boy. That's not what we wanted. I don't think. He is faster than me. Uh, that's where we're going to end it. We died. But that one's not as hard as I thought it would have been. Maybe that was supposed to be very easy. I don't know. It says very hard. And that's what made me like, nope, going to do chapter two instead.
I uh, wasn't willing to I wasn't willing to risk doing a very hard like the very first time you play it's like this is very hard I do understand it controls work a lot better just playing it more and more uh, makes it a lot better for sure so this is the first one second third fourth fifth you know saying very i uh, maybe it's very hard just because of how many steps you gotta take i know this one was like you know he's just you go across yes you uh you get the uh, three things are right there in the room the three cases of beer whiskey or whatever and then you put it in a truck and your gun you just got to kill some zombies get out this one's a little more you gotta you get the one in the shop and you gotta find the other ones figure out how to get into another place you probably needed a key i'm assuming but this is a really cool game i really like it um and like i said it's not only that you have the story mode you also have redneck survival i'm not going to get into that right now survival mode's pretty cool though i was able to last seven or eight minutes very challenging because I don't know how to find more alcohol, but I just had to hope to survive and all that stuff. But you get the guns all the time moving around, shooting, uh, shooting the zombies, all of that. And you get the nicest little room. Not sure if you can really explore much of the area. I tried and I didn't ever find anything different. So I'm assuming you got kind of stay in the same path. But it leaves you open to figure out what you got to do, how to survive with all the zombies uh, uh, circling. Yeah, stuff like that. And yeah, you got your tutorial. It is very under like once you understand it, it's very good. I got confused on it multiple times on how to do things, but that's just what we do. When you see me play games, you know that's just what we do here. We get confused on things. We make things look a lot more, a lot more challenging than it actually is. <laughs> but hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, please like and subscribe. You can comment down below. Let me know what you think. Again, this is whiskey and zombies and i will put it down below for you guys the uh, steam page and the twitter page of the developer hopefully you have a good day guys take care of yourselves see you later